Hello there lads and lassies, welcome to my channel. My name is Derek and I would just like to tell you something about the Oculus Quest 2. Now a lot of you have been asking me, and by I say a lot, I mean two of you have been asking me, um, how I get my recordings to look the way they look. And uh, well the answer is pretty simple if maybe a little bit complicated, I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, I use a program called SideQuest. Now, a lot of you have probably heard of SideQuest and actually use it, but do you know how to set your Oculus Quest 2 to record um, at 1080p, 60 frames a second? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that today. I don't even need to put my headset on to do it because I've already done it. I just need to tell you guys how to do it. First off, make sure that your Oculus Quest 2 is plugged in to your PC via your link cable or version of a link cable, whatever you have. Um, make sure SideQuest is turned on and everything is all done with that. You can find other videos on the internet about how to make sure SideQuest is installed correctly onto your Oculus Quest 2. That's not what this video is about. This video is about how to do the recording thing. Anyway, so when you are in your SideQuest app, you need to go... Um, uh, <laughs> wait one second. You need to go to Run ADB Commands. Okay. Custom command, and then this screen should pop up where it says run ADB command. Now you're going to have to do this every time you turn your Oculus Quest on. If your Oculus Quest 2 is, has been on and is on for the full day, don't worry about it. You know, the recordings will stay there. But if you turn your Quest off, you'll have to do this step again. So what you want to do, and I'll put, uh, I'll put the, what this is, the ADB shells, the ADB commands down in the description as well is you want to make sure you get your ADB commands here, you paste them in. So here we've got ADB shell set prop debug oculus dot capture dot width 1920. You click run command, command completed. Okay, delete that and then you move on to the next one. And you run command. Now you have to run these all separately. You can't run them all at the same time or it won't work. Okay, then you do your next command here, which is your capture bitrate. Okay, now don't try and record anything over like an hour or something because these will take up some space on your headset, especially if you've got the lower end version, which I've got as well, uh, because, you know, I'm not going to play every game I've got all the time, so I only have like one or two games installed at once. My fitness games and whatever I'm playing for you lot. Uh, so yes, continue to do this, so on and so forth, until you have all the commands done. Please do not ever forget to hit run command every time, otherwise, again, it won't work. Uh, the key one here that you wanted to get for your 60 frames a second is this one, the ADB shell set prop debug oculus capture dot FPS 60, etc. and stuff like that. Again, I'll put these in the description, you just have to copy and paste them into a notepad, and um, that's you, you've got them forever. Now, I'm hoping that at some point they're going to have a way to be able to record your microphone at the same time because the way I do it is I have these on with a little microphone attached around my neck attached to my phone. That's the only way I can record my microphone right now with Oculus Quest 2 games. If I'm recording through Virtual Desktop, Virtual Desktop for some reason has its own microphone driver which will work with your recording software. Just make sure that it's activated in your PC while you're doing it, which you can do through Virtual Desktop, obviously. But if you want to know more about Virtual Desktop, again, check out some other people's uh, stuff as well. Anyway, so once you've got all those in, you're good to go. And also, if you go into SideQuest itself, you've got a whole bunch of games that you can then install to your Oculus Quest 2 uh, that are not available um, natively on the Oculus Quest 2. For example, like Pokemon VR or uh, Lambda 1 VR, or they're actually pretty awesome, um, where is it? There's, there's one in particular, I can't find it anymore. Anyway, you'll see it because I'll make a video on it at some point. Yes, that mystery game. There's a lot of, uh, ah, there it is, Hand Physics Lab. Hand Physics Lab is awesome, so you want to go and check that out. Now, the next thing I want to tell you about today is that I have actually been doing a little bit of work on the side here. And I am now in an Audible book. That's right, you heard it here 
probably fifth or sixth because I've probably mentioned it every other place I've actually got this. Um, I'm actually in an audiobook on Audible called All His Works on Eighth Day. Uh, this is by Amy Clover and it's narrated by Chris Sharps, awesome narrator, Derek McEwen, that's me here, and Alex Berry. Now this, uh, this book actually has a lot of music in it as well, very jazzy, very cool. And um, if you go to your Audible site and you click sample, you'll hear a little sample of uh, the narration and the music. Uh, but it's actually, uh, if you have Audible, I'm not sponsored by Audible by the way, but if you do have Audible, uh, you will get this um, for a credit or I think it's £2.49 or something to buy. So not too, not too expensive. And uh, yeah, it's already got five stars all the way. I did not put a review about myself in there, honestly. <laughs> Maybe I did. <laughs> but there's other reviews as well, and I'm actually quite um, happy. Yeah, there's my review there. A great wee story. Uh, but there's audible.com reviews by um, Victor at the audiobookblog.com. Um, talking about them. Um, the three narrators, Chris Sharps, Derek McKinnon, Alex Berry, involved in breathing life into this fusion of literature and music, with each of them bringing his A-game to the recording booth. How's that for awesome, you know? I'm, pr I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, there's a whole bunch of Amazon reviews as well. Again, there's me. Um, so it's not just me that's doing it, but it's five stars all the way. So if you guys want to check that book out, uh, I would really appreciate that. Um, give it a review if you if you enjoy it. Even if you don't enjoy it, give it a review because all reviews count towards, you know, review scores. Anyway, uh, so, <laughs> yay! Um, so I'm kind of chuffed about that. I'm in an audio, an audio book now. So I've done so many things now. I've been on TV. I've been in a movie. I've been in audio books. I've been in short films. I've been in a horror film. I've been on video games. So yeah, I'm just going to keep this going, you know, do this, obviously keep you guys, um, going with all this and then, you know, do my voiceover work as well. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope these, um, uh, this, this was useful to you and, um, I'll catch you again soon, but until then, bye-bye.